So this is the last video that I'm going to do for today. Um, this is pretty much I'm going. To, what, what I'm going to do is pretty much autopilot this device. So do a full reset from the console. So I'm actually on the on the actual board right now. So the Microsoft Endpoint Management Admin Center, and I'm going to retrieve my hostname first. So command prompt hostname, press enter, and what I'll do is just grab and copy that. Next, I go to devices, all devices. And I'm gonna go straight here, paste that in. And you can tell that's co manage um, and it was available by myself today. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna autopilot reset my device. So we've got a number of functions here. And what I normally do for autopilot reset is I actually go to wipe. So when you click wipe, you've got a couple, a couple of stuff it does. So it does a factory reset to its default settings, from all personal and copy data and sense with this device and you can, cheap, uh, you can choose whether you keep the role device under the user so in this case i'm just going to remove um, the wipe device by keeping the wrong state and associate user account because on next startup so if since i'm this is a demo test um this is pretty much going to um, go back to me um when i sign in again but if you want to loot if you want to wipe the device completely and you want to repurpose the device then i um, also choose the second option so i'll choose click, yes for this one so what this does, it initiates the thing and it will pen. So roughly in a roughly few minutes time, um, this device will automatically restart and it will begin wiping. It does take, it does, it, it's, it's quite fast these days. So yep, and there you go, it restarts in my face. Haven't done anything. So this is pretty much the whole purpose of doing a Windows Autopilot reset. And um, yeah, so what, what this does, it, it will reset the device straight up. It will wipe the important data on it. So yeah, the reset phase does take a while. So it, you have to do keep in mind in regards to that, um, but it will just do a proper reset. So so as you saw early on, it just simply just, it, it received a policy, it did a restart. And now it's resetting PC. So resetting this PC, this will take a while. So again, it will. Um, what it does in this phase is that it will reset the PC um, back to um, to its um, default state. So whatever OS was installed prior before that was 2004. So it still gets installed in 2004, and pretty much after that, um, it will do the full update. It will bring you back to Welcome to Now Test Limited again, and that's where the end user logs in and. And the device can be reused, re reused again, and yeah, that's pretty that's pretty easy. So it does take a while, and I'm not going to con continue recording this. Um, but ideally, you get the idea on how to really repurpose the device straight up, rather than having to use SCCM to reimage the device, uh, where it normally does take an hour or two, and we have to restore the user profile and so forth. Um, so yeah, I hope you understand the whole purpose of Windows Autopilot, and thank you.